Hello YouTube subscribers, disgruntled family members, and co-workers, you have now landed on Mixed Wells World, episode 3. Today we've got a special guest coming in, a good friend of mine, Tony. How are you doing today, Tony? Great, how are you guys? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good on this Saturday. Uh, you know, just enjoying some nice coffee. Some iced coffee, bro? Iced coffee? Yeah. Ah, no, not iced coffee, just regular coffee. I didn't have good ice, so. Oh, man, I love that caffeine, bro. Yeah, I feel you on that. But today, on Mixed Wheels World, we're going to talk about the man bun. Now, Tony, do you know what a man bun is? Isn't that that uh, super long hair style that a lot of the dudes be wearing, but they kind of look like girls at work with you, a ponytail? Wow, you feel that way. Girls at work. Some, some good... Well, you know, I work in the medical field, so... Uh, I, I see, I see. They well, all got to have ponytails. It's kind of sexist to say, don't you think? No, it's just a rule. All right, <laughs> so moving on. Our next topic is going to be why contentless music and music with no lyrical content and flow at all. Let's get this mother crock! Why? Honestly, I think it's because people just love hearing it. Yeah! First, well, it's, you know, maybe. What we're going to end on, is it better just to create, 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 and push out as much music as you can or take your time and strike when you're when you're confident in the market and you know everything I think it's got to be a balance for everybody okay balance absolutely yin and the yang yin and the yang both of them can you you can't have one you have to have the other right yeah it's like you know the bang without the theory the theory without the bang it doesn't go together unless it's together I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> so when when do you think that the man bun really started coming about, Tony? The man bun? Yeah. Wasn't that like yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. The man bun. So if you had to guess, <laughs> when do you think the man bun came came around and, and resurfaced in our... I'm world? guessing yesterday because I feel like it's an old trend already. These trends be changing so quick. That is true. That is true. Uh, it is an it is an old topic, but I still just want to talk about it because it's. I think it's it's just it's just intense. We're gonna have to talk about it. I I did some research and I found out when the man bun first came about, and it was in 200 BC by soldiers, and they uh, they wore decorative pieces, and that's it. the only. It was like a decoration back then. Or okay. Something. And then it came came back in the sixth and seventh century by the Buddhists. The Buddhists, huh? Yeah. So is this like a Japanese, Chinese, Asian persuasion type of deal? I'm thinking I'm thinking one of them. One of those fine people. <laughs> one of those fine people. And then David Beckham. David Beckham. David 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 Beckham. David Wait. David 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 Beckham. Is that like straighten it like Beckham or bend it like Beckham? Oh my gosh, is that where the bend it like Beckham came from? No, that, that was like a girl. Wasn't that a girl movie? Like, Bro. Like, yes, that's where bend it like Beckham came from. Wow. <laughs> that one went over my head so fast, some of my hair is still standing up. <laughs> Well, that's who, uh, that's who first started it, was David Beckham. He's a London soccer player. And then uh, in 2013, Jared Leto, the actor and god of war, he was the first, according to Google Trends, to really start bringing it out and, and wearing it. And then, Joachim Noah, he was an NBA basketball player. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> I don't know. I just like saying it like that. Jaquim! <laughs> Noah. Jaquim! Doesn't that sound like when I, when I read Noah. that, it was like Jaquim Noah. Like it should be Noah Jaquim. Exactly. But yeah, that's wrong for me to say it because they live in different cultures. <laughs> I know, it's kind of like a flip on the reverse. 
<laughs> Anyways, he, he, he decided to wear it, and he plays for the Chicago Bulls. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Unit G, would you watch? Very familiar with Joaquin Noah. No idea who he was until I looked this up. He's been injured a lot lately, though. Huh. And then there was uh, Chris Hemsworth, uh, actor that plays Home and Away. It's a TV show, I guess. Mm, okay, okay. So he was rocking the man book? Apparently, apparently. And then Home Slice Leonardo DiCaprio. Wait, was it a Da Vinci? No, it's the Vin Leonardo Da Vinci. <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> maybe he did wear it. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? And then it also said that Brooklyn Hipsters started it. Brooklyn Hipsters? Yeah. Now, what would you define a hipster as, Tony? I'm confused. Are there hipsters even in Brooklyn? Well, I think that's where the hipster movement really took its footing. Not in... China or was it Japan? No, no. I don't. So I, I honestly, I think that what happened was Bennett, like Beckham, started it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and some rich celebrity was trying to be trendy and went to a soccer game and thought he was badass and was like, oh, look at that man, bud. <laughs> so he was trying to bend it like Beckham. He was trying. So bend it like Beckham started the the man bun. So anytime you see a man bun, that's what you should think. And I should get a percent of bend it like Beckham that movie. Is that <laughs> trademark? What? Trade <laughs> trade. That's not trademark works, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh no no. So what? Well, if you see a person in a man bun, what do you think? Like some dude is walking and he's got his little. Man purse satchel, it looks like a purse. He's got his rolled up yoga mat in his other arm and he's skipping along. What's the first thing you think of? Oh god. And I kind of think of the same thing when someone comes in wearing these on their face, like. Is he really doing that? Well, I was that song. I wear my sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah, that's who started that. So now anyone that I see is wearing sunglasses at night, I think they're on drugs. That's, right? Exactly. They're like hiding thing. something. It's like so obvious. That's a little first mystery thing. Or going maybe, on. what if they're just albinos with a, with a wig? They could be. Or maybe they're like Ray Charles. Playing the piano, you know? It's kind of stylish to play the piano with some shades on. Did you know, did you know that, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Daniel! Oh man. Well, what I think of when I see someone in a man bun, the first thing that pops into my head is sumo wrestlers. Sumo wrestlers? Really? Sumo wrestlers, because the sumo wrestlers, they have man buns, don't they? That actually makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Yeah, dude, they always have man buns. What's up with that? And a diaper. They, yes, they do. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, it was a diaper. <laughs> That's like the only sport that allows grown men to run at each other. And I, I bet you half the time they're super intoxicated. <laughs> I mean, you got him. Like, I'm just going to run at this guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That might be someone's tradition. <laughs> if that's your tradition, don't take offense. But I'm just saying. They're going to have to have at least like a triple dose of like espresso from like Starbucks or something. Because, you know, those guys yeah. just don't move fast. Do you know what the Starbucks symbol is, Kevin? Uh, a woman with a man bun. A one? Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> I, no, I don't think they have <laughs> man bun. Oh, I'm okay. going to have to call that one. <laughs> what I was going to say was uh, the Starbucks symbol is a siren. What the hell did you just say? Like... I see the person in a man bun, and they're either like, like really, really fit and awesome, yeah. or they just start failing at life. And I, I look at it, and, and their man bun is their like last attempt at being cool before they fizzle out. <laughs> is that dark for me to say something like that? That's what I see. Yeah, I just see them come it's up. Either one or the other. It's either, no they're like either nailing it 100% or they're just like 
I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a man bun. I'm going to stop going. I'm going to stop going to get my hair cut and I'm just going to get a man bun. They're like, I started this trend and I just jumped on this trend. They're, tr they're, they're trend wagon vultures. Exactly. I can see it now. Yeah. I can see it. I can see it. And I, I, I just think it kind of makes them look like a girl. Not, I, I mean. Well, you know, with the satchel and the purse. The satchel. And all that. And like, then, what, what is that? So, what what is, is that? that? So here comes the next topic. And I feel like I should have invited some, some other people that come to mind that, that I may know that I've seen wear tights. Like <laughs> yoga. Tights? Not, not tights. Yoga pants. Oh, God. Yoga pants I can't. At the gym. I mean, oh, why do you guys do like, that? I, I mean, those like, are for girls. I don't even know what that was. Like, come on. It, it was, a, from coming from a videographer standpoint, that was a very carefully crafted edited video. <laughs> the slow-mo. The slow-mo. And at least he wasn't wearing... <laughs> <laughs> at least he wasn't wearing the yoga pants without any shorts. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I know some I, sure. I, I see some people that do that. I mean, and it's like always, they're, they're always like the not tightly fitted. <laughs> it's a trend. I mean, that's why you got to be yourself these days. Exactly. Exactly. It's just like, what is going on with people? I mean, I just, I don't get it either, bud. I don't get it either. But it is what it is. It's 2018. Y'all can wear all the yoga pants you want. You might just get some disgruntled looks. Exactly. On people's face. Exactly. Do you think the women like it? Uh, I think it depends. I think it depends. If Maybe you... if there's size queens out there, they might kind of like it. Let's get this mother crock! <laughs> On to our next subject here. <laughs> Why music that doesn't really have that great of lyrical pull or any content at all still seems to make the billboards. I'm so glad you asked that because I feel like most of the music out these days is just not as good. What? You know, I think the production has gotten better just because I am a producer myself. What the hell did you just say? And I noticed that kind of thing. But I think the lyrics took a steep fall. A steep fall. It's just, they just make rap music that makes you feel like you're a gangster when you live in suburbia with your mom and father. You know? Exactly. I live in this apartment alone. Don't be fucking ideas. <laughs> but I, that's what I feel like happened, and I feel like if and and I'll I'll hear some really awesome music like on SoundCloud or something. I mean, but post. What do you think of Post Malone then? Post Malone. Uh, yeah. I like Post Malone. And that song Panda does does get me get me mm -hmm. turned up in the club. Absolutely. I like to mix it into dubstep what I like to do. I'm not saying I don't like the songs. I mean, I love the beats. It's just kind of like what so they're it's saying. Not, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, people don't, eh. People like fairy tales and they like playing Grand Theft Auto. So they like acting like they're gangsters and they like a good hearty country song. True. I like country. Just really? Like, I love country. Really? Absolutely. All right. I don't know if I want to touch that subject there. <laughs> well, that that's what it is. It's like I think they just got the generations hooked on. It's like the rap music and the trap and the. You know, so it's, it's just, like it's just like monogamous. Yeah, like, and it, and it's only monotonous. people like singing happy songs. <laughs> But then you think about like Eminem, and you know he's really instilled in the rap game with some some tragedy, you know that's not just gangbang and tragedy, you know. He like, did. Oh yeah, definitely he did. He did with a lot of his music, but I think before he did that, he made something easy. Those four bar bangers. You gotta have a four bar banger before you make it. I think, just to get all the mindless people that will really 
spend their money. I mean, very true. I guess. Very it sounds true. really dark. Love this simple, simple easy is going. Easy. Simple is easy. And on that, I think we're going to end this, this show here. Well, even if you listen to like the newer rap now, like the trend is, you know, to sound like the Migos. And well, they like, okay. They rap slower. They don't even rap fast. So what do you think of Ill Hobson? Hobson. Hobson's, love. what do you think of his new album? I haven't heard his new album, but oh, I love man. some Hobson. I songs. like it, but it really just made me depressed. Yeah. Like I watched his music video and I was like, oh my God. Sometimes the truth just hurts you. It right? does. Yeah. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. Like I said, people love fairy tales and they love playing Grand Theft Auto how it is so that's all that's all we've got time for we've got to go record a track that's coming out pretty soon haters i don't know if it's going to be haters going to hate it's going to be something haters either way love haters and then uh spaz spaz is coming out too i gotta finish right into that so stay tuned if you jive with me because of my musical genius that's right <laughs> but that's a wrap. Be sure to tune in next week where we revisit the topic we didn't get to today. And uh, yeah, love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm out. See ya. And MC, all the haters wanna be Plus I also rock the ones and twos like effortlessly I'm the future, can't you see? It'll be hard to disagree When you can't afford my shows at the fucking marquee